Fall is a great time to throw spinner baits, and I'm going to make one for you today that is my favorite one this time of year, and, has, and it's a single blade. So I'm going to show you how to do it, how easy it is, and obviously all the components you can get from Lure Parts Online. And remember, when you're building your own baits, you can literally build three for the price of one store bought one and make them different than anybody else has so let's get to uh we're going to get to building that spinner bait and i'm going to show you the frame that i build it on and we came out with this frame a couple years ago and it is called the wild eye spinner bait okay that's a frame right there and if you notice these little notches here on the side we call this our ninja collar it's got eight points of contact on there so when you put your trailer on there it's not coming off okay because as soon as you push the plastic up on there there are different avenues created by these little spikes out here and the plastic just can't pull off. It's, it's extremely effective. It's the best trailer keeper that I've ever seen on, on any lure for that matter. So this is a .35 wire on here. It's got a lot of flex, which gives this frame a lot of vibration, but it also holds up better than a lot of the thinner wires. So you not only have increased vibration on here, you have longevity when you make this lure as well. So this is what a frame looks like when you start and all I'm going to do is I'm going to build it with a simple white skirt. This is one of the Bass Academy skirts. And if you notice on here, it just has that hole that you just pop the skirt on right there. Because usually with the rubber band skirts, as well as those work, sometimes the strands can become uneven. With this hole-in-the-one type skirt that you have right here, once you put it on there, all the strands remain the same. It's just a little more consistent skirt. And in my opinion, it gives the skirt a lot better action in the water as well. Okay. Now the blade I'm going to be using is our hurricane blade. And I love this blade. This is one of my favorite blades. It's a recreation of a blade from back in the nineties. Okay. And it was called the super dog blade back then. And I did really well on it. A lot of guys in the Midwest, especially fish and river systems did really well with it. And in most cases, it was a combination blade. This was a trailer blade and you would have a Colorado in front of it. I like building them just with that blade by itself because it puts off such an intense vibration. And as the water cools in the fall, and fish get back up shallower chasing chasing bait fish again, especially like in the back of creeks on reservoirs and things like that. This blade puts off a lot of vibration. It pulls a lot of attention to that bait. And on top of that, because of that vibration, it really makes that skirt move back there. So I'm going to show you how easy this is to build. And you only need two tools. You need a split ring pliers, which you can also get from lure parts. And then I use just the regular long nose pliers. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is on this frame, I am going to take my long nose pliers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the top part over. I'm going to make like a small loop, okay? And I'll show you this here in a second. So just like so. Hope you can see that right there. Now there's a tool that you can do it with as well, but if you don't want to use it, you can just use regular long nose pliers. It's really simple to do. So okay, it's pretty close to that. I've already put the spinnerbait swivel on the blade and when you look at lure parts just look for spinnerbait swivels just type that in the thing it'll come up it's one size they work great easy to put on with the split ring pliers okay so now i'm going to slide that on there i'm going to take my long nose pliers and i'm going to crimp it just like that you heard that pop that is perfectly on there and now you have the blade on uh, on the frame okay next thing to do Real easy, what I'll do is I'll wet up the collar a little bit, just like so. Now watch how easy this whole thing slips on. Boom, boom, and boom, that's it, there you go. Perfect, that's all it takes, that's as long as it took to make a single spin spinnerbait, just like that. That's a wildlife spinnerbait frame that's in three eighths, that is a number four, size hurricane blade and that is one of the bass academy uh, signature series skirts all that stuff's available at lure parts online it's easy to build a single spin spinner bait just like that and one of the most productive spinner baits when you just want to get bit you want to find out more about building all those components go to lure parts online you can message us here anytime if you want help with builds or anything like that we want you to build better baits we want you to catch more fish before you leave Please follow this page and check out the discount code I left you in the description.